Hey guys, so up until this point, we've showed you the progressions of anti-flexion, anti-rotational movement using your core trunk, your abs. We are going to get ab wheels on your feet. I can't do this whole maneuver, but the, what's great about the ab wheel is it allows you to work with, within your strength range. For example, when you're fully pronated out on your legs, on your feet, it's a very hard move. I mean, if anybody can do it, even one rep, that's incredible strength. Uh, I've seen it on the internet, it's phenomenal to watch. And they make it look so easy, that's what's so frustrating. But here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get up on our feet, okay? You're gonna allow the wheel to go out past your head. And then eventually, if you can continue the move, go as far as you can and then let your knees hit the ground and finish off the ab wheel with your knees. One little thing that I like to do is partials while I'm standing up, which is a really hard difficulty level, standing, but you're gonna, you're gonna take half of the range of motion so it's a little bit easier on you. You're gonna come out to here, then you're gonna use your hips ah, to pull yourself back. I got stuck there. And now this wheel's on its own. Oh, I couldn't do anything but prevent it from rolling away. I had no more strength. It's a hard move. That wheel is gonna seem like it's got a mind of its own. It's gonna start taking off on you. But focus on, if you're up on your feet, bring it up to your shoulders. You gotta stay strong here too. And then let it go a couple inches. Oh, and then it feels in your abs. Oh, and then let it go a couple more six inches. And now it's on its own. Oh, that's a tough move. But that is a warp speed way of getting your abdominals into fantastic shape while working the entire chain, the front, also your obliques at the side because they're stabilizing too, and also your lower back. We're not bending the lower back and giving it a break. The lower back is working at the same time. 